Right, this is video three. I'm facing away from the wind. Over there, we've got the Church of West Huntsville, which I walked from. I parked Alberta over there in that church, the car park that belongs to that church. And if we go round, we walked up a long, straight little road. There's Brent Knoll. I came across the sluice gate of um, the River Brew, I think. It might be the River Brew. Rivers. I can see Steep Home, not Steep Home, I can see um, Green Down, or is that Steep Home? Yes, actually I can, I can see Steep Home. There's Steep Home, look. There's the barracks and the museum there on the side of the hill. I went there in 2012 on a bumpy ride. I'd like to go back, but I'm not going on those rib boats. I won't go on, I won't visit there until there's a proper boat that will take me there. And over there we've got Steer Island. And there's a hide there where you, I've been to that hide, I cycled over that way. Back in 2012 I cycled there and I climbed inside that hide. And scattered around the island there's lots of little hides. There's another one there. Because apparently rare birds land. There's another small hide there. And there, you get men out there with their supersonic cameras. And of course the island... Oh, I can see a ship there. And of course the island, which is probably might be underwater at the moment. And then, um... Yeah, I'm so cool, I've been so cool. There's Hinkley Point again. Straight in front of me, look. If it went up now, I'd be vaporised. And I've been in there. I've been in that building. I've been right over the reactor co cores in the gallery. I've been in there. <laughs> when I was training to be a nurse, we went out there to see the medical facilities. And the one thing they said to us, that the, when it comes to the crunch, every, every person's for themselves, they said, if it, if it was going to go. Um, yeah, I've been in there. There ain't much I haven't seen in Somerset, people. And my beautiful Quantock Hills over there. And of course the River Parrot is weaving all the way around. Look how beautiful the vastness is, look. The vastness. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just windy, everyone. But I thought I cannot not come out and do a bit of a video. I just feel so good when I'm out. I feel really good at the moment. I can breathe. It's beautiful. Look at the hedgerows. Oh, Got their nice blossom on them. The grass is starting to grow. And um, this is a designated walkway, by the way, now. England's coastal pathways. You are actually allowed to walk here. I don't know, I think, I think they do put the cows here. There's a cow bucket there, yeah. They don't like putting them out when it's still too muddy though. I thought it was going to be muddy and I've put my wellies on, I don't really need them. But it could be muddy further up for all I know, see? You've got to go prepared. It's probably very boggy walking across that bit. Look at that though everyone. Just checking it's working. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is my beautiful summer's everyone. Got the Atlantic Ocean over there, the Bristol Channel. 
Weston's right, right, right over there. I can just see the hill fort from here, actually, where I, I live at the base of the hill fort. Let me see if I can get in this. There's, there's Weston's hill fort there, with the woods on top where I was in yesterday. And I live, I live that end of the hill fort near the town. Where the Iron Age people and the Romans would have looked out across the sea in a commanding position. And this river parrot would have many a tale to tell. Pirates, smugglers, big ships, tall ships, barges, dredges. Much, much history, this river parrot. Weaves inland to Bridgewater. It goes inland quite a long way, but of course it gets narrower and narrower. Of course it turns into a little stream. It's a long walk. This is, I mean, I'm just, you think, oh, you could have walked straight across. You can, but there's lots and lots of ditches. Who knows how deep they are as well. There's Brent Knoll there. The Mendip Hills I go to a lot. you find when you're um, doing the river parrot, you, it's in and out, loop after loop. So though it's not really very far when you use your eye, when you're following the loops, you're, you're sort of doubling up every time. Now what I've got to watch is rain. I thought I, thought I, thought I had a bit, of a, um, a bit of rain on me then. They said it would be short bursts. Of course, a short burst is enough to drown you, isn't it? The only spare clothes I've brought are... I've left my waterproofs in the van. I didn't want to cart them about, actually. But I could put them on if I get soaked and get back to the van. I've got waterproofs to put on. And clean socks and shoes. Yes, very, very dry actually. I was expecting this to be very muddy, and it's not. So I'm wearing my wellies. Cool, you can smell. It's like silage. I got a feeling there's a sewage work somewhere. That you pick. Could be Bridgewater, isn't it? And the wind's blowing this way, so I'm getting a, I'm getting a dose of it. Right, over and out for now, everyone. Remember cycling past that house?